Hey everyone, welcome back to Everyday Rita. Today is another pup box unboxing. Super excited for this one. It just came yesterday, which was the 10th. It literally comes pretty much right when they say, because I think it says that they ship out on the 10th or you should receive by the 10th. I forget, but I know the 10th is in there somewhere and I definitely got it on the 10th. It was kind of late at night, which was interesting. But anyways, um, I'm excited. The first one was a great one. If you guys want to see maybe a review of how he liked the first box, as far as all the stuff that was in it, then definitely let me know. Comment down below. And let's just go ahead and jump right into this one. So once again, it comes wrapped, packaged like this with a sticker on it. It just says, Puppy Bliss has arrived. And let me open this. Let me just tuck it under because it'll keep flapping over. Sorry, hold on. Okay. Alrighty, so first things first is this card which says, quick look at eating raw. That is kind of all the cra craze, is that a word? Yeah, craze, rave, I guess right now. Uh, I see it like everywhere. And I know that eating dogs for eating raw, there's a lot of benefits to it. So this is just a card on that and it's kind of advertising this one brand. It says take 10% off any one bag of core raw rev. You use that code. That's kind of nice that they give you that coupon code. The next is just showing what's in the box. And then their monthly little training thing for your dog. It's kind of personal, not so much personalized, but kind of personalized to where it shows the months. So on the 17th, Cornelius will be five months old. So this is exactly what it's for. It says for your five month old puppy and just kind of shows a little bit here. So this is really nice and helpful. It's good insight, good reading. And the back part I think is just still some stuff. So this one is three keys to curbing your puppy's jumping. Did I see, yeah, curbing, yeah. And then a look inside your five month pup box. So it's kind of a little, again, a little guide on what's inside. So that's nice. All right, so what's in the box? I'm actually kind of excited for this box. I did look at it already yesterday because I was way too excited. Just a quick, quick peek and I thought it was so cute. So let's just jump into the first thing that Cornelius is getting, which is this really cute dragon toy. Look how cute this is. I think it's just so cute. I don't know why, but I think it's really cute. I love how colorful it is. Um, it's great. It does have a squeaker. I won't squeak, uh, but there is a squeaker. And um, it's a nice plush. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's really like stuff stuffed. If you're worried about like stuffing, there is like the paper, that paper sound that's in a lot of dog toys uh, on the tail. So that's really cute. So this is really cute. I really, really like this. That's the first thing. The next thing is this, which is called Flavor It, your dog's Flavor It Chew. So this one, what I'm understanding is you can put stuff inside this little, um, you know, bone. So he says, fill your flavor cells with your dog's favorite spreadable treat. So most likely just peanut butter is what I would put in there. I'm not exactly sure because I don't see an opening how it works unless I just push it in. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so that'd be kind of cute. It's probably going to be a pain to uh, clean, but that's this one. So we'll give that a try. He likes his Kong, so I'm sure he will like this. And then the next thing he got was another rope. Uh, he did get a rope last time, and he's not that big of a fan right now of ropes, unfortunately. He's not a big, like, tug-of-war person just yet. Maybe when he's a little bit older, these are going to come in handy, but the last one he got in his other box, which it was really cute, and he does play with it every now and then, but not too much. So we'll see how he plays with this one. But it's, it's cute. I like it. That's that. The next thing is this so this is a at first i was like what the heck is this so it says on here it's a, a cow hoof so that's really interesting i never really seen that before so it's a cow hoof it looks like this so this will be interesting for him to chew on it's quite big i might save this for him later on and then the next thing I'm really excited about is this one because I've kind of seen these ones, not this exact brand, but I've seen these at um, uh, different like, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that. So it's really cute. So it's a bottle. And what you do, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. 
uh, is you turn it over. Like, hold on, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. So you turn it over like this, and then the water comes out. So this is great for traveling if you're going on a hike, if you're going walking, whatever the case may be, puppy park, or like dog park, whatever the case is. Uh, this is great. So you just um, fill it up, and then you... Yeah, it just squeezes. I don't even think it squeezes. I think it just slowly comes out, if, what I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Leak-proof valve, closed, flip to close. Oh, yeah, so it'll run when you have it like this, and then when you have it this way, it'll actually close. So it, um, which it, you can't see inside, but it does close. I'm looking at it. So that's kind of nice, and it has a little clip on here as well. So we'll see how this works out. But I'm kind of excited because when I take Cornelius places, I bring a mason jar with a bowl. So I constantly have to like pour the water in the mason jar, or I just have him drink straight out of the mason jar. So this will be a nice little um, switch up from that. And then the last thing he's getting are these core grain-free 100% beef treats. And I think this is what they are advertising on that first uh, insert I showed you. They're freeze-dried raw, and it says protein-packed. And if I'm not mistaken, when I looked at it yesterday, it says like one ingredient on there. Um, so, yes. So it says our ingredients, freeze-dried beef. I don't know if my camera is going to focus. Probably not. But it's right here freeze-dried beef. So this is going to be nice. I'm sure he's going to like it because he likes beef flavor. He likes salmon the best, but he likes beef flavor. And that was the whole box. So let's let's just go again with how many we, items we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, they always say five to seven items. We got six items, which I think we got six items last time as well. So it seems like six is kind of the magic number. All right, so let me turn this off really quick and let me go meet with Cornelius to see how he reacts to each item and see how he likes it. I'll be right back. Cornelius, I know you're very impatient. Come, Corn. Cornelius, come. Okay, we're gonna give you the first one. What's gonna be the first one? Okay, let's give him, let's wait, let's give him the rope first because I know he's gonna like that one probably the least. Okay, first toy. Is the rope. What do you think of it? Grab it. He's still learning the tug of war situation. No. He's not very big <laughs> on tug of war. He likes to chew on the rope instead. Yeah, okay, you're not interested in that one. Okay, next. Okay. Let's give him the dragon. I think he'll like that one. Squeak there's a squeaker. <laughs> Whoa, look at that one, Cordelius. <laughs> What do you think of that one, Corn? I'm a dragon. Squeak it. That's a squeaker. Okay, he's chilling. I think he's more excited for the food part because he smells some of the food. That's why he's kind of like whatever. So let's just get to the next thing. Right. Um, let's give him one of these. So these are the 100%. Yeah, just one. Oh, wait. Or is it food? Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Okay, Cornelia. Sorry about that. Uh, it is a treat, so we'll give it back to you. Go ahead and give it back to him. Try it out. So, sorry you guys, the reason, if you're not familiar, the reason why both me and Robert were wondering if, you know, he, uh, it was a treat or not was because we actually do feed him Primal, which is a freeze-dried dog food. We don't always feed it to him, but we have fed it to him before, and it looks very similar to this, so they're like little nuggets, and I'll show you one. The piece that Robert gave him was on the big side, that's why I got scared, but these are much smaller, <laughs> so, um... It looks like this, Let's see, like a little, literally freeze dry, but it's like a whole nugget. That's kind of what Robert just gave him. And you're supposed to mix it with water to rehydrate it. And, um, you know, it becomes like kind of like a wet food consistency. So that's why I was kind of like, oh my goodness, is it food or is it a treat? But it is a treat. And it, uh, nowhere on the box does it say anything about mixing it with water. So he should be fine just eating it like that. Cornelius, what did you think? You liked it? I think he liked it. Okay, 
Next, we'll demonstrate the water. So this is the little uh, to-go water thing. So it's like this, and then you open it up, and is water flowing, or do you have to squeeze it? Squeeze it. Oh, you got to squeeze it. And here he goes, drinking the water. And then to close it, I'm not too sure. It doesn't go back in, does it? I don't think so. No. So you would just dump it, I guess. Yeah. And then you just close it back up and it doesn't leak, right? So that's how you use that, which is gonna be really nice for hiking. Okay, the last thing was this little flavor it bone thing, which I thought it was like hollow inside and the peanut butter was gonna actually go in the bone, but it's actually just these little, I know Cornelius, hold on. These little um, circles on the thing that are just like little cracks like crevices, and the peanut butter just kind of goes in there. That's it. And this has a very strong berry flavor. So, uh, smell, I'm sorry. So, like, right when I opened it, I was hit with, like, a berry flavor um, or scent. I'm going to give it to you. So, let's just see how he likes this. Okay. Of course, he's going to eat the peanut butter because he loves peanut butter. But let's see what he's going to do with the actual bone. <laughs> Cordelia. Okay, Cordelia, let's take the bone. So, I think he'll chew it. I mean, that would be the hope. It's on the other side. See, he's just, I think he's mostly interested on in the peanut butter, to be honest. Of course, always gets stuck. He's just licking the peanut butter off. Yeah, I don't think he wants to chew it. Maybe he doesn't know what to do with it yet. He's licking the peanut butter off, which is pretty much, see, actually now all the peanut butter is just stuck in the little holes. Yeah, see, now now you can see. So we'll see how he's going to react now, if he's going to still try to lick it, if he's going to actually bite on it, because I know there's a little bit of peanut butter in there. You're already over it? You get to give him some time. These are all new for him. And the last thing is the cow, cow hoof. Are you going to give it to him? Yeah. Okay, we'll give him the cow hoof. Sit. 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 No sit. Good job, corn. There you go. <laughs> that thing is crazy. If you ever want to see it, what, what, a, it? what a cow what hoof it? is. What is it, Cornelius? Okay, well, he's taking it. He's not exactly sure yet. And he likes that one. Problem with Cornelius is he starts eating a bone or an ear or something and he only does it for like a few hours, let's say, and then he's kind of over it and he won't really go back to it, which kind of sucks. Okay, well, Cornelius is going to have his cow hoof and that was everything. So. I know he's going to like this little guy. He was just so intrigued about the treats. I know that. Uh, this one, we'll see how it works out since... Oh, well, there he goes, maybe. Um, since there is going to be a little bit of peanut butter stuck inside the little holes, uh, he might try to bite it or play with it. This one, like I said, we have a few ropes. He plays with them occasionally. We'll see how he goes. Maybe when he gets a little bit older, he'll like ropes. And then that uh, water bottle, the... The water bottle, that's going to come in handy definitely for hikes and stuff. Um, let's see. Cornelius really likes water, so I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he just... Cornelius. Thinks. Cornelius. See, there's water in there. That's really Cornelius. Cute. No? You just want to check out everything. You just huh? want food. I think he smells this one. And I'm sure he really likes these, so... I'll give you a little... One more. do a trick. Come sit. Turn. Sit. Speak. Speak. Good go. job. That was a big speak. Speak is the one that he always is stubborn with. He does the turn easily and the sit. He does the fake speak sometimes too. Where it's, ah. I know. Yeah, that's you sometimes. Ah. All right, Cornelius, this was your March pup box. Ooh. Okay. 
Sorry, I can just go on and on and just watch him. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Comment below if you... Oh, speaking of pup box, hold on. This is from the last one, and he actually really does like this one. Um, it took just... him a couple days to like it. Yeah. The, the little spikes that are on it, but after a couple days, he loves it. He plays with it. I think he just is intrigued by the box that's here. That he's just so distracted. He loves the chewing boxes. Okay, so comment below if you guys got a pup box. I will leave a link down below for you guys to get 50% off your first box with any subscription. Once again, just keep in mind that if you do have a, if you do do a subscription, let's say three months, you are obligated to do those three months after you, um, even if you cancel the first month. Just keep that in mind. I'm so far really loving pup box, so I don't see why you would cancel. Uh, just a little disclaimer though, because I know I would really appreciate having that knowledge. He just, I think he really likes these treats. Turn. Good boy, Cornelius. So check down the comment below for the link, and we will see you on the next one. If you got a pup box, once again, let me know what your dog's favorite item was. Bye.